In this, the final episode of the Mod Studio 2 mini series, we're going to take a look at some of the other features that I haven't covered yet and just have a last look at this brilliant piece of software. Watch you guys, welcome back to episode 8 and the final episode of the Mod Studio 2 mini series. We've covered an awful lot, but today we're going to cover the last things that I think are really good getting the pro license, um, joining the Discord, also the Stream Deck plugin that Werewolf's created. This is fantastic. So, anyway, guys, let's jump straight in. So, I want to start off by actually showing you a couple of things that I didn't mention before. And that is the AI traffic templates. So what you need to do is you need to open up your Mod Studio 2. And if you open up the files that came with it, and you go into the data, then Mod Projects, ETS2, and Templates, then AI Traffic Skin, you'll see you've got a bust and a full transit that you can actually make skins for. If we open up the bust one, I'll quickly show you the preview. That's the actual preview of the bust. But if you come up to the PNG above it, the 4096, and right click it and open it, there you can see is the template that you can feel free to skin away. And same goes for the transit. If you come in and open up the transit PNG, there you can see is a full transit that you can skin. I forgot to show you those in the first few videos, so I thought I'd catch up with that now. Another thing you would like to show you as well is if you come in and go to the tutorials section of Mod Studio 2 and you come down to this troubleshooting steps. Now, a few people have been having problems with it coming up saying this DirectX failed for some reason. And basically, you need to install Visual C, which is this one just here. We install that and make sure the things above it are installed as well if you need them, if you're having problems. That's the best way to do that. Now, I want to highlight as well, one of the great things about Mod Studio 2 is the Mod Studio 2 Discord. If you get any problems, these are amazing guys, bunch of guys over there that will come and help you with absolutely anything. So I highly recommend you go over to the Discord. I'm just going to show you something on here. It's about patrons. Now, I've, I've just signed up to become a patron, and I'm going to take you through the whole steps of how to do. If you click on that, you can have a look. So, Roadside Studios is the name that you'll be supporting. It's also the name of the Discord. And you can see there's two tiers here. There's a £4 tier and an £8 tier. And that's per month. And there's a little bit of VAT on there. I think I'm doing the £4 tier, and it works out to £4.80. If you come and have a, a look here, you, it's a little bit about it and a little bit about why the Patreon was set up, etc. And what you get for being a patron, which I'm going to show you something on the screen now quickly. What I received from Werewolf, you sent me a really nice uh, message and uh, it kind of sums it all up really. What you get is it's well worth supporting this great piece of software that helps anyone who does any modding, especially for like ATS or ETS obviously. So some of the perks you can connect via a private message you get early releases there is also going to be more pro features coming in the future and there's also access to some other uh, pro features as well to do with traffic trucks and traffic trailers which we'll be going over in a minute so i'm going to sign up there's plenty of ways to sign up things i'm going to join the four pound tier now you could fill in your name your email and all the rest of it that way or if you've already got a patreon account you can go straight to it but i'm going to do it via google and it'll ask you to sign in with your google account and your email and all the rest of it obviously i've blanked mine out so you can't see it now the only awkward thing for me was that when i did it via google it did it via my main google account which is in my old channel's name and tech takeaway so i need to get that changed over to game take but so you enter your details two-step verification just say yes on your phone and it's now transferring me over to this page where i need to confirm my country of residence which will be uk which near the bottom obviously i'm going to select my province which is basically for us is a, a county which would be kent the Garden of England, apparently. Okay, and then you've got this part here. It tells you what you're paying. You can pay an annual 
thing which saves you 15% which works out about £3.40 a month and I'm going to do mine monthly and you need either to fill in your details of your card or whatever you're paying with I'm going to do mine via PayPal as you can see it's, it's £4.80 with the uh, VAT on top of it check all your all your bits that you've filled them in right etc and you're happy with it and you click pay with PayPal there you need to as usual Fill in your email and your password. More two-step verifications, which I suppose is a good thing. So just grab me code. Put your code in, whatever that is. And then just let it do its thing. Put your last bits out as to how you're going to pay PayPal. And then you get this. Congratulations, you're now a patron of Roadside Studio. It tells you a little bit of your benefits there. You get to see all the posts that I quickly flicked through earlier if you want to read them properly, etc. I can't, I can't tell you just quite how nice a community this is. Mod Studio 2 community is great, on, especially on Discord. Lots of friendly people over there. Lots of really talented people over there as well. If you need help in anything with them, and they, they're giving you their information free all the time they're, they're fantastic you could connect to discord through this way as well if you wanted to and it would send you the link i'm guessing easiest way is to go inside the actual mod studio 2 application and just click on the discord part and here you get a welcome from roadside studio now when it comes to activating your pro features on the patron side of things at the moment there is a little bit of a problem but i got in touch with werewolf via the uh there's an address at the bottom of the of the page where you can just email him directly and he the very next well that afternoon there was my activation was sent to me and uh he sent in an email to me because uh patreon is messing things up at the moment it's a little user data file and even if there it is on my desktop so i'm going to show you how to put that in you just basically come to your documents folder come down to your mod studio 2 where you've loaded it in and just drag that file in and that is that it's then activated if you come to you you go to new project go to ets2 we're going to go to the templates and then if you come to traffic truck scheme here's one of the benefits that i want to show you you come across to trailer you see you can now add in the traffic truck and the trailer this is a pro feature I haven't got any trailers to put in there or anything at the moment. So that's one in there. It tells you that the associated account is all done with it. There's a list and you'll see if I scroll down. I'm down the bottom there. But under the wrong name. Purely because of my Google account there. It is Tech Takeaway. Look. I'm sure if I ask nicely I could get that changed. So Marion's very helpful. Anyway, another thing I want to show you as well. Is the Mod Studio 2 Stream Deck plugin which you can access via the discord this is it here it comes with a complete profile ever so simple to set up so it's just a little bit about it and some people making some different buttons and stuff it's also available for mobile devices this is set on the 15 button stream deck and here's a little bit about the installation it's, it's very straightforward and now basically between you doing one copy and paste, the uh, Stream Deck does the rest for you. So, Marin's really thought this out and put a lot of hard work into this. So, these are just some of the reasons why this is such a great community and, and, and so worth becoming a, a patron, if you possibly can, or supporting it in any other ways. I'm going to show you how to install this. So at first, I tried to do it via share mods and my my malware bytes just kept blocking it wouldn't let me through in the end i had to go to uploaded.net which for me is a much slower way of doing it but you can still do the free download so i did that we let it do its thing and 10 minutes later we actually had the uh, download and then once it's finished its download you just need to open up our downloads folder and there you can see it stream deck plugin so if you right click it and extract it into its own folder and then we'll drag that out onto the desktop. If you open it up, you'll see inside you've got a plugins folder, and these two actual files are to do with the Stream Deck. What you need to do then is go to where your game is. Now, most people it'll be on C drive, mine's on the D drive. So I'm just going to go into find it. 
the root path should be the same as this once you've gone to C. You want to go to Steam Apps, Common, and we do Euro Truck first. And then you come into the bin, X64. And then if you come across, I've already got some plugins here. So if you come across to what you just downloaded, the Stream Deck plugin, open that up, and then just right click and copy the plugins folder. Then go back to 64 and paste it into here. If you haven't got a plugins folder, you can just paste it in anywhere in that particular file. Now the other two files, what you need to do is to double click on it. You'll see this comes up here. Are you sure you want to install it to your Stream Deck? But yes. If you scroll down on your Stream Deck, we've got quite a lot of plugins in here. But there it is, Mod Studio 2 plugin. So and there's the things that you can add in, etc. If you come back to the downloaded folder, if you double click on the profile one, that will install as well. And there you can see is the is the profile is called Truck Simulators, and you've got your windows opening both sides and closing, you've got your lights, your indicators, hazards, high beam, and trailer attach. Trailer lift, parking brake, beacon, engine start. What we're going to do now is I'm just going to install this now into American Truck Simulator. Exactly the same process. Copy the folder, chuck it in. You don't obviously need to open up the Stream Deck again because it's already done for you. So now it's in American Truck as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to skip straight to American Truck. We're going to put the keyboard shortcuts into the actual game itself that are in the Stream Deck profile. So we'll open up American Truck. We'll go to Options and we want Keys and Buttons. Now you can see that it's already in there under E. I'm just pressing the buttons on the actual Stream Deck. You can see lift and drop axles already in there. Just to show you, I'll press the Stream Deck and it stays as you. I'll do the lift drop trailer. That's K. Okay. Now the indicators are different in mine, so I'm going to change them via the Stream Deck. As a warning, it's the same. But you do need to go through and press the buttons because if you don't, it doesn't seem to register light modes. Do the high beam beacon. Now for the opening and closing of the windows, I had to, I had to select different ones for what came with it because I'm already using those keyboard shortcuts for something else. So I'd already put them into the Stream Deck software though and then just pressing the button on the Stream Deck on that same uh, truck simulator profile. And just do the last one, trailer attach. We'll go over and just make sure they're all working. Here we are in the cab. So the engine starts working. And the part brake. It goes the window down. Yep, the indicators are working nicely. Lights, high beam, better check this window over this side, that's working nicely, I haven't got a beacon on this so I can't try that one, hazards are working, so that pretty much is all set up now, the Stream Deck's working, so that's how you do that guys, Stream Deck's really a handy thing. I've actually got my own little ETS profiles over here. I've got a gaming profile that I've done. And uh, I've got some different buttons set up that I use for various things. One thing the Stream Deck's really useful for, I know it's not to do with Mod Studio, but it's really good for the flyby camera. I've set it up here. You can see that. So instead of pressing it 8 and 6 and whatever else, I can just go up and down. So well worth setting up a hotkey or what that. Now just in case you need it, here is the actual part.
path that you need to use to put in the plugins folder there best thing to do is if you're not sure about anything to do with with mod studio 2 is to go over to the discord and have a chat with any of the guys over there they'll all help you anything to do with xml files color conversion anything to do with the uv exporter anything like that this is a, a fantastic piece of software so if you can guys go over join the discord if you can support uh marin werewolf i'm sure it would be most appreciated so if you can support it please do as in please support all modders really because uh they all do a fantastic job and they help us with our game so and uh i'm gonna leave it here and uh, i'll catch you in the next one we're uh moved on now to a paint.net series just to show people some of the tools and some of the things you can do in that i hope you'll uh give that a watch if you need to know anything thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one bye for now